Today is a quick video on the Tesla System Update 2021.36.5.1. First, I will press the software button on the lower part of the main menu to bring up the updates and release notes. This update's main item is mobile app improvements. You can now adjust the charge current, scheduled departure, and scheduled charging at the car's current location from the Tesla app. I'll cover how this works next. This update works in conjunction with the smartphone app version 4.1.0 and higher. So don't forget to update your Tesla phone app if you haven't already done so. Also note that update 2021.36 includes cold weather improvements. This states that the windshield wash sequence automatically adjusts to your vehicle speed to better clear salt and grime. I'm not sure if this will only be in effect at certain temperatures or not. I guess we will see. I also suppose that it will automatically spray the washer fluid if necessary to clean the windshield. This improvement is most likely in coordination with the full self-driving requirement of having the wipers on automatic. So this is an interesting update. The Tesla iOS app update shows some new features too. The large widget option now includes quick controls. There are also some additional options for Tesla Solar and Powerwall owners, including rate plans and time-based control mode updates. Let's first look at the iOS widget. I have one on my phone's main menu screen. Let me zoom in closer to get a better look. There are now quick controls for locking and unlocking, HVAC fan control, charging, and for opening the frunk. I'll press the lock button and it brings up the full Tesla app. I'm not sure why it doesn't just let you operate the quick button just within the widget. But in any case, here I have the full app showing. Since the car is charging, you can see that you can adjust the charge percentage. This has been available for a while now. The new feature is just below. Press the button with the 24 amps and you can now increase or decrease the amount of amps for charging. Of course, it can't go any higher than what the specific adapter is that you're using. For example, I am using my mobile connector on a NEMA 1430 outlet, which has a max of 24 amps. If I used my NEMA 1450 outlet, I would have a max of 40 amps using my Gen 1 mobile connector. Scrolling down the page, notice the schedule button. Press this and you get a new page with the ability to make a departure and charge schedules. First I have departure selected. Then I can choose the time I want to depart. There are options to have the car preconditioned at this time. I'll turn it on. And now there's an option to set it for seven days a week or five days for the work week of Monday through Friday. Below that is a setting for off-peak charging if you have that option with your electric provider. Turning this on, you have the same options of seven days or five days. If you have a time of use plan that has peak and off-peak pricing, you can enter the off-peak end time so the car knows when to charge at the best rate. Now I click on the charge button on the top, turn on the enable schedule charging switch, and then you can select the time you want the car to start charging. By the way, on the charging page, you can see that the car is actively charging by the pulsing charge cable connected to the charge port. Up top, you have all the information, including battery pack percentage, time remaining, current amp setting, voltage, and kilowatt charging. Previous to this update, both of the departure and charge scheduling had to be done in the car. Having the ability to do this in the app is a definite improvement and adds flexibility. Well, that wraps up this short system update video. I hope this comes in handy for you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.